And welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Aston Villa and they face Bournemouth. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Philip Billing. They might be able to get in now. Well, he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he just delayed the pass, didn't he? That was a great opportunity. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player. But it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Solanke. Ben Pearson. Moving the ball effectively. This attack looks highly promising. Lerma. Precise ball movement. Must take the lead here. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Target. Ben Pearson Cahill Kelly Billing with it Difficult to stop him Has someone to play it to Well he knew he had to get to the ball And he did Perfect example of how to put in a tackle, and a corner will be next. Delivering it. A decent effort, but the keeper read it all the way. Message for Xavier Lucente, travelling here from Spain. Xavier, can you please go back and meet Tyrone Mings. Douglas Luis. Promising attack, this. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Ramsey. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Not giving him a moment's peace. And a throw-in it's going to be. Philip Billing. Ben Pearson and Lerma Solanke he has time to play it over Lerma and nothing positive comes of it unfortunately Billing it is a decent looking attack here and it's still on for him plays it back Putting his body on the line. Jefferson Lerma. Billing. Solanke. And still looking for space. Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Taken short. Anthony. Can he find the angle? So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, he was one of the best. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. McGinn. 
Philip Billing. Getting in there to intercept. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Could be a chance to break here. Firing it towards goal. No way through. Solanke. Now with Ryan Christie. Solanke. And didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision. So a personnel change then. John McGinn. Well, he likes to run at them. And a textbook interception. Jefferson Lerma. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Solanke. Veering in field here. Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing's been too safe, and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. Promising attack, this. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Junior Stanislas. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Lama. Solanke. To jump in front. And what a magical save it was. Played over. It's not a particularly good corner there. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. And you don't want to lose possession there. Opportunity. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. And now a corner. Can they take advantage of it? Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Can they forge ahead? No, and all because of the goalkeeper. Margins, margins. Well, he has done well there, but he should have won the game. They probably won't get another chance now. Substitution for Bournemouth coming off the pitch. Number nine, Dominic Solanke. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, a bit short with the clearance. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. And it might be. And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. Well, here it is again. And if you are going to clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. And they don't do that. It's a poor clearance. And suddenly, the ball's in the back of the net. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, it hasn't been a great performance, but the fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise. Can the players respond and find this equaliser? McGinn, this could be the equaliser, marvellous anticipation, time really is of the essence, what can they do from this situation? A disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy, and the keeper not thinking it through, and with that the referee blows for full time, not the outcome Villa fans were hoping for, three points dropped. Yes Derek, it was a tight game.